Not once, but twice, a local developer is upset knowing that there's a thief running around Lynchburg with his tools. Yesterday, we showed you pictures of a man taking construction equipment out of an historic building. Well, 10 News reporter Magdala Lusant spoke with the developer of that project, who's not happy. John Sanchez, whose face we're not showing, owns a construction company that specializes in historic restorations. Today, he's surprised, but also upset. So, you know, it's been a shock. You're like, oh, now we have to armor up. He and his crew are renovating the old Seven Hills School on Rivermont Avenue in Lynchburg. Like clockwork, before they leave for the day, the lights are kept on. But on October 10th and 23rd, around 4 a.m., something happened. The first time you think he might have had somebody. Maybe. Second time. He was alone. There's never anyone else on the cameras. It's just him. Breaking windows to get in, Sanchez says. The first time, the suspect cut the power off and the cameras didn't work. But the second time, Sanchez was ready. He rewired his cameras so when the thief came back, they'd capture a face. Here's our, our buddy. He's right here. Very busy busy when we're all in bed and, and he came prepared. He brought his own shopping bags. It's a very impressive work. Lynchburg police say the thief got away with power and hand tools as well as a welder, costing Sanchez about four to five thousand dollars worth of equipment. And some of it's been quite large and heavy, you know, it wasn't it wasn't something you just put in your pocket. Sanchez says he's in the process of adding more cameras, but needs the community's help. But I'm hoping that one of your viewers might be able to recognize a thief and help us, you know, bring him to justice. If you recognize this man, you're asked to call Lynchburg police. In Lynchburg, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.